Are you struggling to submit your app to the Apple Store? You're not alone. Many developers face the frustrating error ITMS 9207, which can feel like a roadblock. But don't worry, today we're going to tackle this issue together. I completely understand how disheartening it can be when your app runs perfectly on the simulator or device, but then you hit a wall during submission. It's a common scenario that can leave you feeling stuck. Let's dive into the specifics of this error. Here's the situation. One user reported that their app works flawlessly in debug and release builds, but when they try to submit it, they receive the error message, invalid bundle. The bundle does not contain a bundle executable. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what does this error mean? Essentially, it indicates that the app bundle is missing the executable file, which is crucial for the app to run. This can happen for various reasons, including misconfigurations in your project settings. Let's break it down and stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have actionable steps to resolve this issue and get your app submitted successfully. Plus, I have a bonus tip that could save you time in the future. To begin resolving the error, the user should first check the build settings in Xcode. Specifically, they need to ensure that the executable field is correctly set. Next, the user should verify the info.plist file. They need to ensure that the CF bundle executable key is correctly defined. After that, the user should clean the build folder. This can help eliminate any cached data that might be causing issues. Finally, the user should try archiving the app again and submitting it to the App Store. This time, they should ensure that all settings are correctly configured. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of Xcode was released in 2003? We've come a long way since then, but some errors still managed to trip us up. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user found that the error was caused by using a beta version of macOS. They contacted Apple Developer Technical Support, who confirmed that apps must be built on a stable version of macOS, with a stable version of Xcode and the iOS SDK. They noted that the misleading error message did not indicate the real issue. This user plans to report the bug to Apple to improve future communications. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative solution from another user suggests that the error ITM9207 can occur if your app's deployment target is set incorrectly. They found that switching the deployment target from 9.0 to 11.1 resolved the issue. The user also points out that apps targeting iOS 11 no longer build a 32-bit slice. If you need 32-bit support, set the deployment target to an earlier version. Here's a pro tip. Always double-check your project settings before submission. A small oversight can lead to big headaches. Keeping your settings organized can save you time and frustration. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the error ITMS 9207 and get your app submitted successfully. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. Happy coding!